Welcome to Enjoy. I'm Blair French. And today, we're off to enjoy the kitchen. What do you enjoy? Come on. On today's show, we're headed to Carmel by the Sea, where we're learning to make gnocchi, shopping around town, and relaxing on the beautiful grounds of Refuge Spa. Hello and welcome to Enjoy. I'm your host, Blair French, and today we're going to be eating, shopping, and of course, enjoying. Carmel by the Sea. We're a little hungry and we've stumbled upon an amazing restaurant, Basil Restaurant, and I'm here with Dennis Boaro. Correct. We're going to do a little eating and enjoying here. Why not? That's the best way. Uh, I can't wait. Dennis, tell me the type of food that you're serving here. Definitely. You're serving a fantastic, organic, all natural food, freshest ingredients possible. Uh -huh. And definitely, you know, people enjoy when they come here. They can tell the difference between our restaurant and all the other restaurants. So now, the quality is on the food. Uh -huh. Now, with a name like Boaro, where are you from? Venice, Italy. D Venice. Dennis, yes. Dennis from Venice is going to be serving us today. Well, you know how I found you. No. I was walking by and I saw Blair Vineyards. You're and right. of course, you know, I thought, being an only child, I, I thought it was all about me. And I love how you have the little blankets out here because in Carmel it can be a little chilly and you have blankets on the backs of the chairs for people Definitely. and heaters. You make it nice and comfortable. Nice and, and comfortable, absolutely. so that they can just enjoy. It's very simple. I treat people the way I would like to be treated when I run the dining room. What do you enjoy, Dennis, from Venice? I enjoy food, I enjoy people, and enjoy all my friends and, of course, my family. And good coffee. Correct. You have that's excellent absolutely. coffee here. That's, that's the other things I forget about. The that. coffee absolutely. here is fabulous. I agree with you. Yes, yes, excellent. very good. Right. You told me that the coffee, that they still roast the beans with wood. It's a hundred years old family-run business out of Rome. And uh, it's one of the only few companies left, I believe, in Europe that still roasting the coffee with wood instead with of wood. gas. So the taste of the coffee is definitely much better than any oh, other coffee you can ever compare. I can't wait. Yeah. And we're off to enjoy the kitchen now. Here we are with Chef Serke Peters. Thank you so much for having us. Welcome. You know, I, I've made myself right at home. It looks like you do. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a little unconventional, but that's how we roll. Yeah, that's right. All Love right. It. Now, tell me, what are we going to be making today? Okay, today what we're going to do, we're going to make a uh, gnocchi, but a little different than the conventional potato gnocchi. So okay. it's more flour-based, egg-based kind of uh, gnocchi with pumpkin that goes with the season that we're in right now in the fall. Well, I have to admit, I've been to your restaurant several times, and I absolutely love it. Thank you. Um, how would you describe your menu to our viewers? Well, Basil Restaurant is the first green certified, certified green restaurant, as a matter of fact, in the Monterey County and Carmel. We use only organic ingredients. Uh, everything is sustainable. And what green means is that 
not only we use the ingredients have to be you know green and locally sourced but also we have used energy efficient equipment we don't use any plastics when it comes to garbage and so forth we don't use any uh, plastic containers where people take things leftovers to go doggy bags and things like that so everything is compostable and even our food scraps uh, they go to our a facility in Monterey where everything will be composted and uh, so we basically have almost zero waste so we're very proud of that yeah, yeah. okay very great good. so let's get started what we need first of all we need uh, three cups of uh, hot water okay just to cut down the cooking time so it starts hot already yes yeah, you, you're you ahead go. of the curve okay. We're ahead of the game. All right. Now we have some uh, organic butter over here that we're going to add to. There's about 12 ounce. Now we're going to bring this to a boil. Yeah, That's what this we have to do. will ensure that it's delicious. Anything with that <laughs> much butter, you can't go Should wrong. Should be great, right? <laughs> <laughs> so let's put this over here. Okay, so we got that boiling. Uh, what we need to do next, we have to crack some eggs. Maybe I can do you, that. You want to do that? Okay. I can. Excellent. So we I'm can. not making any promises, but I'm going to go for you it. You put them right there. Okay. All, right. <laughs> all of these? Oops. Yeah. All okay. Of them. All right. Shells, I better get going. You can put right there. Uh, then we have some uh, fresh herbs. What I use is basil and uh, rosemary. That comes right out of our garden over here that we have. We have a little herb garden. Wait, what do you have there? Basil and rosemary. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Different style of here. So we're just going to pick some of these, chop them up nice and fine. It gives a little extra flavor to it and since we are basil restaurant so we use a lot of basil and everything makes sense right right <laughs> so i'm glad you call it now which came first the, yeah. the name of the restaurant yes. <laughs> so we're just going to take some of that now this is what we're going to chop right real fine and we're going to keep an eye on this butter and water mixture here so it has to melt well i've um I you finished all eggs. my eggs and there are no shells. Great. Good job. Yes, thank you. Am I hired? <laughs> You're done. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can't leave today. You have all to right. stay. That's so, okay, I will. So we have our water and butter mixture right Ooh. over here. It's all boiled. It all came together very nicely. This all we is have where to you're going to cook your food? Oh, okay. This, all we have to do. Now, this is a difficult part. Just dump all the flour in. Oh. Get a wood spoon. Here you are. We just mix this all up, as you can see. But we have to put this back on the flame, and it will all come together. You think that might be lumpy or something like that, but it's not. That's exactly what I was thinking, and you answered my question. There you go. Now, this is like a pata choux, which is usually used for pastries, when you make uh -huh. profiteroles and things like that, you know? Uh -huh. so, huh. so, like I said, this is not the conventional potato gnocchi. And as you can see, it already comes nicely together. So you guys- I smell the butter. And what we wow. want to have, we want to have a little white, almost like a burn. That means it's ready. It's ready, okay. Got to get a little more get work all the into out. this. Yeah, it's not just cooking, it's exercise. <laughs> we cover everything on this show. And that's a very important part that we get this little white film almost film on, on the, the bottom. bottom. Yeah, okay. exactly. As you can see this right over here white now it's ready we just transfer that to our mixer you can do that by hand you know of course but time is money so it looks like a like a dough so now what we're gonna do uh -huh. we're gonna add some pumpkin i roasted some pumpkins yesterday that we just pureed so we're just gonna add a couple of spoons of this uh-huh about three four spoons that will do and i add uh, a little bit of nutmeg I would say about mm. half a teaspoon I like it already that's the good stuff and then we're gonna add some salt ah you're not afraid of salt I like that too a little bit of fresh black pepper some parmesan cheese parmesan grated it's about a cup and our and fresh chopped herbs. Your herbs. So we all add that together. Oh, this, I can already tell this is going to be delicious. And is this a technique, uh, forgive me for asking, but is this a technique that you discovered or? No, it's, it's common. You know, it's, it's common. more like okay. classical, classical French, more likely. Okay. And we just get everything incorporated. Now what we have to do, we got to add the eggs, like two at a time. Okay, to slowly yeah. incorporate them. Exactly. Okay. We don't want to overwhelm. Yeah, exactly. So one, two at a time. Uh-huh. 
And if you do this by hand, that's a real job. <laughs> so, another would, workout. Yes. Now, what we can do in the meantime, we have some uh, vegetables over here. After the whole product is done, after we have our okay. gnocchi ready, okay. then we're going to incorporate the vegetables all together with some butter. Gotcha. And uh, so you got a nice, nice dish, you know. Okay. So we have some cauliflower over here, what we want to do. This is yellow cauliflower, green cauliflower. Usually I got some purple too, you know, all these uh -huh. different varieties that look very beautiful. The purple cauliflower had the day off? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Okay. I didn't have any. <laughs> so we're just going to get them into like little smaller chunks. I'm going to add a couple more of these eggs. And I have to also say, this is pretty healthy. Oh yeah. I don't see why not. Wrong. Yeah. I mean, with all the vegetables. All and the these organic. Are great organic, yeah. yeah. Really, really good. Okay, one last egg. One last egg. Cheers. There you Bottoms go. Bottoms up. As you said, no shells. Good job. Let me speed this up a little bit. Make sure it's all incorporated nicely. And that's really all there is to it. Okay, now. So now, pastry bag. Do you need me to hold it? You want to hold it? Yeah. You hold it. That way I feel like I'm earning my keep here. There you go. Should we get that all in there? Is it still hot? Ooh, it's it's warm. warm. It's warm, right? Warm and gooey. That should do it for yeah, now. Yeah, that looks great. I see all your chopped herbs in there. This is yeah. delicious. So we're just going to squeeze this all together, make sure it comes out on the other end. There, there you go. There it is. Now, okay, this is now. the interesting part. So we got a boiling pot of water over here, just with some salt. That's all we need. Okay. And we squeeze it and cut it. Squeeze and cut. Squeeze and cut. Wow, that's it. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Little bite-sized pieces of heaven. So we get this. Now. Okay. We just wait, you know, until they come up. Okay. As you can see, they get How a little puffy. How do you know puffy. when they're done? They get a little puffy, like a little bigger in size, uh -huh. and they're ready. And then we're just gonna take them out. You can. So you're really just waiting for the egg to yeah. cook. Sort yeah. Yeah. We want to make sure the center is cooked. Otherwise, they're too soft. They're very spongy. They're very uh, fluffy. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, but we want to make sure they're cooked. Otherwise, they're doughy, and you don't want that. Okay. Know? All right. Okay. They're ready. All right. Ready. So have to get all of them in one mm -hmm. scoop. Take them all out. Okay, got him. Can I get him? Got him. Yep, that's it. Like that I didn't said, take any time at all. That was quick. And it's very different from rolling the dough, the potato gnocchi, what you sure. usually do, you know? So I've never, yeah. Now this, I haven't seen anybody make a gnocchi in this way. Maybe that's just me, but I've never ordered this on your menu. I should start. Huh? That's I, it. I'm starting today when we finish. Because we're going to have yeah. it only for the season, maybe another couple of weeks, because we change our menu seasonally. That's why we are actually call basil seasonal dining. Come over here. There They're like go. in the hot bath. Yeah. <laughs> it was a little chilly out this morning. They want to stay in. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. We All right. Put that on the counter. Here we go. I'm going to make some room over here. All right. We got us a little pan. So brown butter is just what oh, it says. Oh, you can see it's that's starts to form so it's about so turn just when brown. it starts to turn brown you know? okay so we're gonna take some of these ah nice noise isn't oh it? and the smell good Ooh. and look at the color that comes up on that yeah because now the sugar of the of the uh, uh -huh. of the pumpkin the yes. natural sugar that it has it will caramelize yeah. make sure they get nice nice and crispy all right, what comes next? Yeah, next, add we're going to add, add the veggies to it. Here we go. There you go. Put them all in there. Missed a few. Now we make it all healthy. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> now we just add a little salt. Just add a little bit of butternut squash over there. Pre-roasted, uh -huh. you want to You want to throw it in? Yeah, let's sure. put a couple like of those that. into. Of course. Do you change um, the gnocchi as this, since you are seasonal? Yeah. Do you change the, the fillings in the gnocchi? Like yeah. Now we do, do the pumpkin. Uh -huh. What are we going to do next? I don't know. Don't, right. The last one we had Whatever was, inspires you. was spinach and basil, so we had green gnocchi. Uh-huh. 
and see how they get nice and toasty and oh, fluffy. Oh, and I can see the, the spring. They have some spring when yeah. you touch them. That's yeah. it. Well, Look know, at that. Presentation is everything. Smell this? Isn't that oh. good? Mm. Oh, I love the presentation. That's how we serve those. Lovely. And a nice bon appetit. <laughs> oh, That's thank it. Thank you. Gnocchi. Well, we are certainly going to enjoy this dish. We've just had a fabulous meal at Basil Restaurant. I'm ready to walk it off. I do love to shop, so what do you say? Let's go enjoy some shopping. I'd like to know, what do you enjoy? I enjoy coming to Carmel every day and creating jewelry for my store. Organic bling, beach glass, stones, silver. You have and, lots that you yeah, enjoy. And bringing my little dog with me. And, and who is this? This is Dahlia Rose. Dahlia Rose, it's very nice to talk with you. You know, you're quite a lucky dog because Carmel is a very, very dog friendly town. The dogs here have a very good life. Is there anything in particular, Dahlia, that you enjoy about, about Carmel? Yeah, oh, Dahlia? Thanks. Hello? Dahlia you... likes to... <laughs> I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Well, great. Well, thank you for taking okay. some time and telling us what you enjoy. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay. Enjoy your, your day in Carmel. Thank you. We will enjoy our day in Carmel. <laughs> so, you know, we do a show here called Enjoy. Yes. Yeah. And so I like to ask people every now and then, what do you enjoy? Especially in this town. You, I enjoy all the people that I come in contact with. Uh -huh. We have a very small community. Mm -hmm. uh, we're only a mile square. That's we, it? That's it. We're just a mile square. And we have all these uh, restaurants and all the, the art galleries and people come from all different countries. Do you have a favorite restaurant? I have a couple, but I can't say that. Okay. You know, I don't want to pick one out. Okay, don't I do that. Do that. But all I have right. several favorite restaurants in town. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, thanks for telling all right. us. All right, take care. Forget me nots. I'm going in. Smells this rose. Okay. Every rose smells different. Here, now what do you enjoy, Barbara? Well, really, I do enjoy the lifestyle of Carmel. It's easy. What's not to enjoy? And wonderful living here. It is. How long have you lived here? Oh, all in all, about twenty over twenty years. That, that qualifies. Mm -hmm. So you like consider it. yourself a Carmel resident mm -hmm. now. It's perfect here. Just oh. like the name of your show. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. refuge and this is how we are going to finish our perfect day in Carmel. We're with Axel Benabose from Refuge out in Carmel. You are standing in front of America's first and only relaxation spa, a facility that's wow. totally dedicated to the ultimate relaxation experience. Oh, I'm relaxed already. An art that we've lost and <laughs> we find it here at Refuge. Refuge basically is an, is an outdoor facility where you go through what's called the Refuge Thermal Cycle. It's a three-step program where you expose yourself to heat. We have a sauna and also a beautiful, very intense eucalyptus steam room. Oh. You heat up your body. Then when you're feeling that you have gone to the maximum can't heat up. Can't take it anymore. Can't take it anymore. There is something waiting for you, what we call a treat, which is chilled pools, cold. You just go in, you just step in, you do a little twirl, maybe two, okay. and you come back out. You okay. feel very invigorated. 
That's the second I step. I would think so. That's the cool down. We heat up, cool down. The next step is relaxation. And you see behind us, you have outdoor and indoor facilities mm -hmm. where you basically can spend 15 to 20 minutes of doing nothing. Maybe listen to your heartbeat. That's about as much as I would like you to do. So you're just cycling right. through the hot, the That's cold, right. relax. That's right. And you can also have a massage. We also offer 50 minute massages oh. you know, on the hour. They're yeah, a really nice combination. I enjoy a good massage. That's good. Okay. Well, I can't wait to try. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, for more information, you can go to refuge.com, find all the answers to the questions you may have. We look forward to seeing Refuge. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we're off to enjoy all Refuge. Right. We'll do it. This truly is an amazing experience, and if you're in Carmel, you must come out to refuge and just relax. Until next time, enjoy.